G'day mate and welcome back to Capri Industry with me, Jetty. In our last episode, we well, we started shipping off slag. We started shipping off slag to bring in sour water so we could actually convert all that sour water into fertilizer. So we could actually run into the farms to then turn all the extra food into chicken feed to feed the chickens. And that was basically the core of the episode. It took a while to do, but in theory, in theory, we should have all the fertilizer we need at least for right now. And more importantly, as we scale up production and make even more slag, well, that more slag should turn into more fertilizer. More fertilizer means more fi far more food from each farm, and more food from each farm is meaning feeding more people, which is good because um, we have a small population issue, a small population issue of I can't fit any more houses. Well, at least not neatly, which is a problem we're gonna have going forth, at least for right now. Today, I have a number of tasks I need to do. One of them involves one of the new researchers we enabled last episode, uh, which means today's episode, well, I could say it's going to be either gold or nuclear, but you can probably already tell from the title, it's going to be gold. So we're going to be setting up gold smelting. But uh, before we get to any of that, I need to ask the most important question of all, and that is, can I borrow a like? Can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like because, well, gold is awesome and I like a lot of gold. And, um, well, I'd like to borrow your like with the gold. Anyway, with that out of the way, uh, let's get into today's... Um, Scrooge McDuckiness. As always, at the start of every episode, I like to thank those that go above me on, those that choose to support the channel, and today I need to thank, well, a long-time member. A long-time member who's not really a long-time member, just been um, a long-time member on my list. Yes, yes. Normally what I do is I go through the list. I go through the list uh, before every episode, and I pick the next newest member. The next newest member of, well, we've got three tiers for membership. We have uh, the Absolution from Adblocker, uh, the tier that costs $1. And it costs $1 because I don't want anybody to ever say, I can't afford it. Because at $1 per month, you could probably afford it, and the tier is $1 per month, which means YouTube ends up taking, normally they only take you like 30%, 30%, I get 70%, but there's a flat cost for, well, a flat processing fee. So it means that me and the $1 tier, I get about 50 cents, but at least it means that anybody who wishes to support can support. And that is the absolution from Adblocker tier at $1. That means that, you know, I will absorb you for any guilt that you may ever receive from using Adblocker whilst watching my videos. And then of course we have our next two tiers, uh, the kitten supporter and the lover of content. Uh, and they are, well, one, because you love the content and two, because I've got five cats I need to feed. Two of them are kittens, but they were all kittens to start with, I can promise you that. So, you know, the cats need to be fed. So that's why we have those two tiers. One, because you either love the content or two, because, you know, you're really in it for the kittens. And they, they very much appreciate it and they very much thank you. And today I need to thank well, like I said, not really a new member, a member that's been there for a while, but when going through my list, for whatever reason, I missed uh, Mr. P. Diddy. I thought he was on the list, I thought he was marked off, I thought he was, uh, well, named? Named as one of the excavators, but I can't find him on my list anymore. Which means either I forgot to write his name on the list, and then I wrote somebody else's name on the list, which means I missed somebody else, at which point... Somebody's gonna let me in the com com let me know in the comments section below. Hopefully it's Mr. P Diddy. Otherwise, um, well, whoever I've missed is gonna remind me in the comments section below. I hope because I think I'm just about up to date. Just about up to date. Not quite up to date, but close enough too. Anyway, uh, we need to thank Mr. P Diddy. Diddy. Well, I need to thank Mr. P Diddy for being a wonderful YouTube member and being supportive and patient. Uh, and you are gonna get upgraded in course into a mega digger now. P. Diddy is on probably the most important team we have here. You know, the zigzag team, very, very important. But this little tower we have hidden in the corner uh, that's been carving out this area is actually probably the most important team because Capital Industry has, has many features, many features, many things I love about the game. But one of the things that's sort of missing is some sort of overlay to see where the trucks are going. Not that, you know, it's really expected yet. It is an early access game that the devs are adding features all the time. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. But one of the things I'd like to see is some sort of way to tell where the trucks are going and where the trucks have come and, you know, which path they're taking the most. Just in case I accidentally put a belt somewhere and I end up blocking all the mega trucks from going somewhere, whereas the little trucks are going all the way through. You know, it, it, it has happened before because I've put a belt or a pipe in the wrong spot and haven't realized until, well, we've done one of these intros when I'm staring here, sitting here, staring at uh, the tail lights of a truck and gone, why are you pathing? Oh, and gone and fixed it. Uh, yeah, it, it helps to watch the trucks every now and then. So this team is doing a very important job. And this very important job has been carving out the corner of this map 
for a future project. A future project we're not going to get into right now, but one that needs a fair bit of space. On top of that, the very, very, very important thing they've been, well, they're about to start doing is they're about to start removing all the rock. Because like I said, the game doesn't have strictly, strictly speaking, it doesn't have a way of seeing what path the trucks are taking, which path are the most common paths. But what it does have is dirt. And in the crater, we're blessed with a whole bunch of dirt. All cursed, all depends on how you look at it. And this dirt means that I have been able to see very quickly that the coal line, super, super popular. Many, many trucks go up here. Okay, we can see that from the dirt marks. Uh, the zigzag, surprisingly, less popular. Although PDD did come down the zigzag, so it definitely, definitely has its uses. Uh, as for this one over here, we can see by how many dirt lines there are, it is super popular. Also, we can see that everybody has to come through here, but I don't technically need this anymore. So we might just remove that, remove that, and remove all that. Yep, we might just quickly remove that and get it put away. And that way, you know, if the trucks decide to go a little bit more direct, they can. But yes, I really want to have dirt everywhere, which means this crew is going to be in charge of, well, scraping off the top layer of the soil. That's all they need to do. They just need to take down the top layer. It probably won't take them too long. I'm really hoping they don't disturb those belts and pipes too much. And uh, once they're done, we're going to fill in the whole area with dirt because, well, I want to have the whole internal of the crater filled with dirt. Next thing we need to do is I need to set up a... I need to, where is it? Where is it? Right here. I need to set up a fill area right here. Uh, we might not do the end. We might, mm, we might aim you down. Yeah, I need to fill in this area. I need to fill in this area because, um, well, we're going to need the space. We're going to need the space in just a minute. But uh, if I enable the fill, hopefully it'll get started at least. I have no idea how many towers are marked for that area, but hopefully it's enough that it gets done reasonably quickly. All right, uh, next thing we need to do is we have a high supply of fertilizer, which is a good sign. Um, we still don't have enough food. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to grow my farms. Uh, currently we have uh, the greenhouse, the greenhouse, and we can go to a greenhouse mark two. Now greenhouse mark two is going to need 25% extra water and fertility. That's fine by me. I really don't mind water is covered so we just need fertility uh the catch is they also need not 18 people but 24 people which means i need to unpause our last house which is possibly a problem because uh the grand poop system is at 149 poop we can only process 160 poop and if i go over 160 poop i either need to turn on the emergency poop uh, evacuation valve right here which doesn't technically need these guys running because we can get an alert before it starts backing up yeah I need to either enable that or I need to, well, um, turn on the wastewater treatment plant for 26 people. Also, I need to turn on the uh, aromatherapy digesters at four people each. So I'm going to lose 34 people by just going over the 160 poop, which is dangerous. So uh, with that, at least uh, in the back of our mind, we're going to upgrade all of those and all of those. And I'm going to promptly spend seven uni on each one of them. Yeah, that's not expensive at all. At the same time, I'm going to crank the fertility. Crank the fertility to max. I shouldn't need to run at max. And I highly recommend you don't run at max because, well, to go from 100%, we were using 12. To go to 140%, I'm now using 25. That's an awful lot. Also, natural replenish goes from one to, well, it says one, but it's lying. It's going to go to like minus five. Uh, as for this farm, this farm. This farm is currently doing corn and, well, trees. I want to give this farm a few more things to do. So it means over a 12 month period, a two year period, at average per 60 seconds, we get less tree saplings and more other things. So we're going to throw corn in here and potato. I can run two lots of corn as long as they have a gap in the middle of anything else. So we don't end up with the debuff from not rotating the crops. And we're going to opt for, well, potatoes to split this corn from this corn because after we get to the end of the potatoes it loops back to the start do i want to upgrade you uh i could upgrade you okay first off if i set you to 100 percent uh that gives us a lot more corn a little bit more okay so we're at 2.2 you were originally at 3.3 so if I do that and that and take you 100%, we're still at 3.3. Sure, we'll do that. And in fact, bugger it, we're just going to upgrade you to the next tier as well. 
All right, so with those upgraded, and as we can see, we now have a natural punish of minus 1.8, because uh, the farms naturally punish to 100%, and, well, I've gone over 100%, so now they still naturally replenish to 100%, which is now negative. So it means um, I'm using one and a bit fertilizer every month to um, negate that. Yay, me. All right, so uh, with the farms done, hopefully that means that we're gonna keep emptying this tank. We might also notice that there's fertilizer one in this tank now, and that is because, well, there's no way for the fertilizer two to go. Um, it filled up the tank, it filled up the pipe, it filled up everything, so we had no choice but to start making fertilizer one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, I have 114 workers. Also, have a Mr. Shippy Shippy. Just got to click load every now and then just to make sure we keep grabbing the uranium. All right, so that's the first thing I need to do. Uh, we now have, well, you can go away. Uh, we now have a low supply of glass, but that'll fix itself in time. We just spent, well, each farm is uh, 640 glass. I think we only, yeah, we only spent 320. But we spent 320 multiplied by uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven farms seven farms it adds up real quick all right next thing i want to do is uh i want to ah i want to long time ago in the galaxy far 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 research tree uh we researched do, 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 do. i lost it it's down here ah there it is uh i researched settlement recycling so it collects recyclables from the attached settlement recyclables are generated only for products that you provide to the settlement eg household goods i.e. the glass rocking chairs. The glass rocking chairs we don't have yet because, well, our production and our and our and our and our town have a little bit of a distance between them. Also, um, I don't really have recycling anywhere near the town. Now we have some 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 direct paths. We can look at that in the future, but not right this second. Also, um Yes, e.g. household goods, which we're not providing. So I haven't set up settlement recycling. If a settlement does not have this module built, all recycles that end up as general waste. I don't have that module built, but then again, I am actually providing the settlement with something. I started giving them medical a long time ago, and I never thought about recyclables because, well, I know in the back of my mind now that I'm pretty sure recyclables come out of medical as well, but I didn't think about it till right the second. So uh, we're going to go into buildings and houses and services, and we're going to throw in a recyclables collection which I'm going to build right there. And then, you know how I keep building that transformer and I say we're never going to have to move it again? Go there. Cool. Uh, okay, it is May, so we need to see what the month of July is like because you have recyclables. Yeah, I thought you might. All right, we're going to need a waste management. We're going to need a compactor and I'm going to put a compactor here. I'm also going to put a storage box. Do, 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 do. Yeah! We're gonna squeeze you in here. And you into there. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Cool. Uh, 22. Um, okay. We're gonna build you and you and you and you and you. And then I'm gonna set the recipe, because uh, we're going to compact it. If we compact it, it takes one third the amount of space. 27. If I delete that, do you go into here or do you pop downstairs? I'm guessing you pop downstairs into that bucket and then instantly disappeared. Cool. All right. Uh, so we're going to start making recyclables. Ooh, yeah, it's working. Okay. Uh, and then if I check this, recyclables, uh, yeah, okay, so the settlement output's eight. I don't feel nearly as bad now. Uh, and total is 120, 102, which is fine. And actually, we, we should look at waste. Uh, no, wrong one. The other waste. Uh, waste. Did not make an ounce of a difference. At all. How many months ago? No, we must have added houses. Yeah, maybe medical doesn't make wet. Oh, 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 87. No, it's been 88 every other month. 87 every, yeah, I, I, 
I don't actually think that it made any difference. All right, uh, but at least now that's done and that's gonna go into that box. Now, obviously I need to get out of that box. And a long time ago, I set up this box. This box is recyclables in, and we're just gonna put a request here, which means it'll get, well, a truck, a truck. We'll grab it from that box, bring it to this box and feed it into this machine. This machine, well, it runs recyclables normal, the normal, uh, and then only, only if it's, hmm, only if it's only if it has no if it has downtime i.e it doesn't have any normal mm, scrappy recyclables it can run then it doesn't move over and do the pressed uh recipe so if you're running the machine flat out it might never do this recipe which means this system might have an issue but we'll worry about that issue later uh lots of diggy boys have nothing to dig okay that is the rimming team uh the rimming team needs to move along to the next target which is gonna be right here yep and you stop running away uh pause unpause pause unpause and that should force them to recalculate and go find something else to dig all right uh can i how big was that area it was out to about here somewhere uh can i do that yeah that to there and that to there and mining uh there to here to all of that and all of that yep rimming team can continue around the rim all right next one we have is side access side access which is five excavators and six trucks we're disbanding them uh i have a different job for them i would like them to have that whole town go away and their dedicated little bucket and i don't need that anymore and we're going to be moving them to a brand new tower, the Scrooge McJetty Tower, which nobody has bothered filling in this hole. All right. Uh, I want this team to head over here and five, 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 one. And uh, we need to fill in this hole first off because I feel like I'm going to need the space. Uh, where do you put dirt? You just take dirt and put dirt, well, directly there. And that dirt tower is... There's the one on the left side, which is this dirt tower. This dirt tower. Uh, this dirt tower can start helping out right here, uh, which is right beside, the, right, right behind the gold, rather. Uh, yep, yeah, just fill that whole area. All right. Mm, not those, because I don't want somebody to get a stupid idea and actually try to do it. All right. So uh, we're going to have them dig just a little bit in this corner. Because I want some clear space. We're going to need some clear space because, yes, I want to set up gold smelting. Desperately. Uh, desperately, desperately. Yep, super, super desperately. Uh, you have rock slag, gravel slag, crushed, so like everything. And that is isolated to that area. And I don't think anybody imports to this tower. Does that matter? Do you not have an... You are the one, second one covering that, which is rock, gravel, and slag hopefully it gets done reasonably quickly uh yeah because i need this filled in you dump me dirt okay and then you are uh, putting the rock in the hole perfectly uh all right yeah uh, this is going to be a little bit dangerous to fill in because i have no hope of getting retaining walls up against that neatly so we're just going to start throwing material in and see how long it is till the walls break all right uh, today, today uh, we want to remove, we're in, well, remove settlement recycling. Yes. All right. Today I need to um, get more gold running, gold up and running. So gold, gold, gold. Um, we're going to be doing two things, two things. Um, one, we're going to be importing a blueprint, which I'm not really a giant fan of, but I import blueprints when uh, things are a little bit more complicated and I've spent some time already working out a reasonable, reasonable design. I say reasonable design when... I actually mean, I'm really, I'm really proud of the design. Actually, it, it's pretty simple and does the job. Uh, you haven't been looked at for ages, but you just finished. Perfect. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, we're going to find a bit of blank area. Bit of blank area so I can explain this. Uh, it's going to go in as a ghost. Uh, it's probably better. All right, uh, we're going to put you there. And that way I can try and talk through this research and what we're going to be building. Because obviously I'd like to put it over here, but... um. There's, there's a mountain in the way that I'd like partially removed. Yeah. In fact, I, I don't know how long we're going to be. Uh, we're going to tell them to dig all the way out to there. Hmm. It's a giant rimming team. It just, like, 
bring them down here and it'll be disappeared. It just vanished. Vanished. Uh, we, we will see. All right. Uh, okay. Research. Gold. Gold Gold is an interesting item to smelt. Uh, and I've published a whole lot of blueprints on upgradable smelters. Not on gold, because gold's not really upgradable. Gold you get late game, and then there is only one type of smelter, and it doesn't upgrade to any other type of smelter. The only thing that does upgrade is crushes, but at the time you get to gold smelting, you don't want the little crushes anymore. You're going to be building this once with the big crushes, and it's really a build, set, and forget. So, let's talk about gold. Gold. Uh, gold, we need to dig up gold ore. Now, when we dig up gold ore, we need to take that gold ore and crush the gold ore. So 144 gold ore goes in and turns to 144 crushed gold ore. Great, excellent. And then we take our crushed gold ore, which is down this one, and we can only crush half of it again into powdered. I have no idea why, but um, it, it, it's it's half, half again. So uh, for one large crusher doing the gold ore, I'm gonna need two large crushers again doing the crush to powder which is exactly what I have right in front of us. Uh, we have, you are doing the gold, you're doing the powder, and you're doing the powder. So that gives me my one to two. Uh, gold. After I've got gold or powder, I have 72 gold or powder. Now that goes in a settling tank and I need to take 36 gold or powder, mix it with some acid, and then I get some gold or concentrate. I get nine gold or concentrate from my 70, well, 36, 36 that went in, which ends up being 18 gold ore concentrate, which is this amount here, which then gets turned into nine bits of gold with three bits of sand. So I need a little bit of sand, but also the most important thing is uh, for 144 gold ore in, I turned that into, well, basically 144 gold ore powder, which then I turn into the concentrate and I lost three quarters of the material to finally get gold, gold, gold which means basically I think it's eight pieces of gold or for one piece of gold. Uh, it's 144 down to nine. So what is 144? Uh, no, not nine, uh, 18. It's eight, it's eight. Eight pieces of ore, eight pieces of ore to get one, one gold nugget, one gold bar, one piece of gold out of this combination. So gold is one of those things you wanna um, really, really smelt well, if you have to transport one of the materials a long distance, in our case we do, uh, you want to transport the final products along the long distance, not the ore. So we want to basically build our gold smelting on this side of the crater, which is a bit of a problem because there's not a lot of free space anywhere on the crater, especially on one of the rim points. Uh, on top of that, we didn't talk about acid. Obviously, we need acid. We can get acid easy enough. We also get out toxic celery. Toxic slurry is nasty, nasty stuff. Uh, if we go to a dump, 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 and I put a dump there, uh, we can see that uh, early game, early game, you're throwing wastewater into the game, into the sea, and that got, got you 60 water pollution, which was okay. It was manageable. Then when you got into oil, you got oil, you got your oil build a little bit bigger, you started getting sour water. And we remember how much of a problem sour water was when we're dumping that sea. The pollution was so bad, people were having health issues everywhere because that has a water pollution factor of 120. My acid's also up there at 120. Don't dump acid in the sea. Really, please, please. Some, some decor around here. Don't dump acid in the sea. But toxic slurry takes a whole new cake at 150. That is nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. Um, so we don't want to dump that in the sea, which means we need to process it, which means it needs to go on a wastewater treatment plant. Now, wastewater treatment plant takes in 108 uh, toxic slurry rather than 160 wastewater of the other uh, the other recipes, plus takes in just a tiny bit of filter medium, just six, and it also brings brine, which is very different, and it's gonna output water and a whole lot of slag. Like this produces an awful lot of slag. Think about all the gold ore that you went turned it, well, put into the system, but a large portion of it comes out of this as slag, which is okay because you get to dump that in the sea, or in our case, we're gonna go trade it for more fertilizer to then feed the farms to then, the chickens are no longer starving. Can I point out that chickens are no longer starving? No one learns about the chickens starving, which means one of two things, either I fix the problem or they all start to starve to death. Either entirely possible, but um, we're gonna pretend that it's there fine because oh my gosh uh why can't you get out because uh, that's a 60 belt and you are still trying to exit uh we're gonna upgrade that belt 
I don't know if that's going to help the system or hinder the system. We might need, uh, you're at almost 100% capacity. We need to upgrade uh, to a 450 food belt. Yeah, that's the issue. Okay, so uh, back to our little blueprint. Okay, so the way this works is I have uh, one crusher. One crusher takes in gold ore, turns into two crushers doing the uh, crushed gold or crushed in a gold or powder now that gives us 72 the 72 goes in both of these and takes in 72 plus the acid we'll talk about the acid in just a second and then gives us gold or concentrate the concentrate uh being 99 goes into a single smelter being 18 with a touch of sand and then gives me the wonderful gold so the way this is set up is shove 144 gold ore in here and get out 18 gold bars at this day, this end. Not 24 carat, we only do 18 carat around here. Yes. Also, um, it has its own self-contained wastewater system because you process 108 and you process 27, 27, 27, 27. 27 plus 27 is 54. 54 plus 54 is 108. So the only thing I need to provide into this system is well, gold or filter medium uh, and acid. Also, I need to take the slag out. But technically, I also need to provide brine and water. So this is why um, this blueprint exists. It's very, very mm, compact and isolates down to some very important items. Also means that um, it's tileable. So you can take one blueprint and turn it two blueprints or three blueprints or even four blueprints should you have that much gold on your map and you can keep maintaining that dig speed to feed the whole thing faster. And we're not going to be doing that. We're not going to be doing that right now, but what we are going to be doing is we're going to be putting down one of these blueprints. Uh, so that's going to be our plan. But I need to have filter medium. Now, filter medium we've already made over here, and we have this little build here, which outputs, in theory, 36 if it runs at full speed, but this build doesn't run at full speed. It runs at, well, two-thirds speed, so it outputs 24 filter medium, and we're using eight, which means I have a whole lot spare. So we're going to put a bucket right here, and I'm going to grab off the filter medium belt. No, filter. Built the medium belt and plug that into there and we're going to build that and i'm going to delete that and remove that as well and then you should just have excess filter medium going into said bucket which means i can pull it across the map which is what i'm going to have to do because you guys haven't done enough uh can i remove that part and can we just really quickly bring this team of um rabid rabid diggy boys down here okay you guys have definitely bro broken the wall but wall 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 and no little wall survived uh can i get building some vehicles any wall short uh we'll put one there and one there cool uh i want to build that and then we're going to set this to be flat right across the edge because I think I'm going to need these tiles. I really, really think I'm going to need these tiles uh, because the blueprint, it's not super big, but it's not super small either. Uh, really? We decided not to fill in those tiles? That's a shame. I'd really like those filled in. Uh, yeah. yeah. You guys are just filling in all the little holes as we go. Uh, can I clear that? Because we're making great progress around here. Uh, it has a high supply of recyclables. Oh, it's a 60 mil. Uh, upgrade. You processed out 25 last month. I'm guessing there was just a backlog. That is... Whoop. No. That is protein. It is protein. Yeah, we're just going to make the belt go a little bit faster. That should hopefully fix the backlog. Hopefully. Hopefully, nothing else seems to be backing up, so we'll give it a whirl. Uh, building pillow may collapse. Can we not undermine that, please? Uh, can we just cancel that little area? And that little area, thanks, bank. And you go find the dirt. Just the dirt. Just the dirt. Uh, speaking of dirt, oh my gosh, uh, they don't wait for nobody. Uh, I need to make sure we have access to that ramp. Uh, okay, so those tiles are outside the range. Can I realign? Uh, let's go from here to here. Cool. Uh, chicken farm, not enough food. Would you make it a liar of me? We have food. 
is the belt speed wrong? No. Uh, so you need 15, you need 15. Uh, we're pumping 200 in. So that's 15, 30. So that's 30. That's 60, that's 90 on a 200 belt. Uh, you are taking in potentially as high as 100. Can I click on that belt, please? Oh. 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 So this is why we click on the belts. Yeah, much better. Okay, that should solve that problem. All right, uh, where were we? We were throwing all our digging might at this corner. All right, yes, I want to get this corner removed. Uh, we have filter medium. I need to get a couple of things, and that would be I need to have Brian down here. I also need to have... Uh, mm, I think I just need Brian. I'm going to build the, part of the, the, the dump anyway, but I think I might just need Brian. Uh, either way, we're going to run the pipes down in the meantime. Uh, so that way when we work out where the build's going to go, I sort of have the pipes at least done. Uh, can I run you on top? There to... Oh, come on. Please. Please. This, this one's actually important. Accept that, and I'll accept that. No, okay. That's as far as you want to go. Okay, you just live there for a minute. All right, can I remove that part? Uh, we're gonna have you go to there, and then to there, and then to there. Okay, can I? Can I find a valid replacement? Oh my gosh! On top and on top and come on, you lit up a few times. There. Put beside other pipe. Okay, done. Have at least two pipes. Made it that far. Ooh. Okay, uh, yeah, there is pretty much nothing left of that corner, but I'm going to leave them to just finish off that very, very quickly. Uh, Mr. Shippy Shippy, load up another 1,200 uranium. Uh, do I need to bring you back anytime soon? Uh, you can actually come back right now. Uh, mainly because you have... It says uranium ore. Don't you also have Electronics 3 on you? Or do I finally get them all unloaded? Uh, building pillar. Please don't break the pillar. That would be unfortunate. Yeah, we're dumping a little bit close to the edge and it's making the pillar a little bit un upset. All right, uh, corn. Corn is really not moving. Uh, you are really not moving. You are also not moving. Are you not moving? You are moving. Uh, you are running flat out. Cool. Uh, with, with that solved, uh, we're going to build that one. And then you... That's 200. Well, the 200 belt's not full. So we're running... Oh. Oh, we're running 400 speed to here. Okay, uh, we're gonna upgrade that to 400. We're gonna upgrade that to 400. We're gonna upgrade... I don't think I need any other one. Oh, this one, this one, this will have to be 400 as well. 
And then we've started removing materials. So I don't think anything else has to go over 400. All right, the rimming team, we need to reschedule back up to their rimming edge because uh, everybody enjoys a uh, good rimming around the crate up. And uh, Scrooge McJD can head over to this area. Uh, we're going to assign them between about here and here. And the first thing I want them to do is... Uh, Oh, that, that's the other team. I was thinking, where are the little guys going? What the hell are they doing? Uh, we're just going to cut like that, which is a bit of an odd cut, uh, but there is gold everywhere here. And obviously, if I can, well, even out this corner a little bit, uh, it means in theory, well, Chuck's going to have a little bit of a faster route. Okay, uh, we can remove all of that. And now we have a nice corner of the building. And that is that area. That is a dumping tower. Can I just not have you in the middle of my build zone? Uh, edit to shop there, which I will also enable that dump and that dump. Yeah, I don't really need it, but we're just going to enable it. All right, uh, blueprints. Uh, we're going to grab the gold smelter. Now, the gold smelter needs ore to come in on one of the belts at the top and the final output to come out on one of the belts at the bottom. Also, the slag, we also need to get acid. We need to get water in here. Actually, I might build you that way. Just need to get water in. Uh, sure, let's put you there. All right, uh, let's work on the things that I need to work on first. So I need to work on storage, uh, which is going to be a reasonable size storage, nothing too extravagant. Uh, we are going to reverse that belt and bring our gold bars into our Fort Knox, which is going to be hidden in the corner of the crater where nobody will know where it is. Uh, next thing I need to do is I need to plug in our gold ore, which is going to be the bottom belt. So we're going to grab a reasonable size bucket, nothing over the top, and plug that in right there. So we're going to set you up for the gold. And we're going to get you built. Uh, also, your belt's built to run into the first, uh, the first crusher into the next two crushes with all your corresponding belts and then we need to go into the selling tanks now selling tanks are going to need acid so i need to get an acid machine over here and we need 12 24 uh 48 so for 48 acid i need a mixer mark two uh because my mixer mark one only makes 36 acid so i'm going to need its bigger and better brother uh which means every one of these pipes going the wrong direction perfect i love pipes going backward uh, it is the joy of blueprints. I can provide these blueprints, but I have no idea when you put them down, which way you're going to run things. And I have suggested, had people suggest to me, Jenny, why don't you make your blueprints with like a left version and right version? And I'm like, left for which belt? Which belt exactly? You know, with a smelter block, there's, there's four belts. Which belt exactly would you like to go left and right? And if you say all of them, then my answer is press the F button, the whole lot will flip. Okay, uh, so we need you and you. Now, that'll start making acid uh, after I enable the recipe, and I need 60 water for that. I don't actually need 60 water. I need mm, 40 water, I believe it is. 40 to make 48. I think that's about right. So I need some amount of clean water. The good news is you output 36 water if you're running flat out, which you will be. Uh, so we're going to build the pipes and the belts at least. Yep. Uh, and those pipes and those belts. Yep. And also, let's get you built and you. Uh, can I put a storage bucket? Let's go with. Actually, let's go with the side. And we should be able to run directly. Yep. Thank you. Move you forward. Yep. And you go there. Yep. No. Plug in, please. Cool. Uh, you are going to be filter medium request and we can get that done. All right, so filter medium is going to pop in. It does this little zigzag here and that is because, well, that fits in neatly around that zigzag. Uh, you are going to need to have sulfur, which is going to have to be imported, plus you need water, which is this pipe, uh, which we're going to have to flip, 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 yeah, flip. All right, once we have water, uh, we're going to plug that into... Uh, a balancer. Uh, we're going to bring the water, the water tile, uh, up the height one, height one. Yeah, height one at least for a couple of tiles. Down the ground level. 
and then into our balancer. Uh, we're gonna run, no, I'm gonna move my balancer over. We're gonna remove that. We're gonna run you into there. I'm gonna run you into there. And I am gonna be short four world up per minute or something. So I'm literally gonna add a tank. I'm gonna add a tank. I'm gonna have the guys import water because uh, four water per minute is just not a hassle that I need uh, to try and have on site. So we're gonna hook you in. Okay, next thing I need is you are gonna need brine. Now brine is a bit of a different uh, animal to get. In theory, if I did some sort of a uh, desalination unit right here, we could get brine. But um, I can't really do a desalination unit here right now. I could in the future, but I, I don't need that much water. So we're gonna go with, um, well, another one of these guys. Another one of these guys to just make, uh, actually we're gonna put it over here. Uh, one of these guys to just convert our seawater into brine, which is that pipe. Which does not connect. Oh, you're me. I don't like that when you press the R mode to do silly things with pipes, a lot of the times, the, not a lot of the time, there is a chance that it forgets that it connects at the other end and has the pipe in the right location, it just doesn't plug in anything. All right, so we're gonna plug seawater into there and we're gonna run one of those. It's just a normal evaporation pond and not a uh, heated evaporation pond because that's gonna give us 24, yep, uh, 24 brine and I need 18. So we're already in the overkill stage, uh, which means that goes into there. All right, so that's that done. So that just leaves uh, having the rest of the build on and a sand input, which we're going to Big boy bucket, little boy bucket. Uh, helps if I actually put a request on that. Uh, let's go with a big-ish bucket. Uh, also, I should have a request on that. Uh, can I go with storage? We'll just go with a tier three, even though we're using trace amounts of sand, but everywhere I seem to use sand is in trace amounts. And you there, you there, sand. And set a request and build and done. All right, which means I should be able to fill in the rest of this and the bucket, and then we see if we go over population cap. 45 workers. I think we're gonna go over. Nine workers. Uh, minus 17. I thought that might happen. All right, uh, so what I'm gonna do to save ourselves a couple of workers is we're gonna pause one of each constructor uh, doing, well, parts. What are you missing? You're missing construction parts one, which is missing Oh, uh, yeah, I paused you to get some walls put in and forgot to resume you. Cool. Uh, we're going to just pause one of each building just to have a few free people, which... Oh, they're both full. Um, I fixed the system a little bit too well. Uh, we could max out you. Yeah, I'm going to have to run the fertilizer pipes down to these farms, it turns out. Although we may have, we may have a too much food problem. Yeah, and which mind control tower? That is these guys, these guys are done. All right, uh, whilst we wait for uh, the next episode, we're going to have them just keep trimming out just a couple of tiles at a time uh, at the new lower level. And ew, that's fine. And can I? To put a ramp in there and there so at least we retain access and what are you marked for dumping in this tower's location dirt well that's exactly what we want uh flat at height minus 80 uh yep yep uh with a ramp there and uh, yes, a ramp. Here? Yeah. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, that should work. And you export to. Is this tower right? Uh, yes. No, 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 no. It's this tower. Uh, can you export also to that tower? And you, can I give you an extra truck? Like you really probably need an extra excavator, but an extra truck will definitely help. All right, so uh, do you work? That's the most important question. We have acid, we have that, we have... 
Too much toxic slurry. Oh, I never did anything about slag. Uh, I knew I forgot something. Okay, slag is going to just come out to, let's go with here. Oh, I ran the pipe around the little. Uh, build, build, and uh, you, 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 uh, build that there, and then can get a bucket. I'm going to plug a bucket here, and I'm going to delete whatever's in the bucket, and done. All right, we have a production line. We have a production line. Uh, you're going to have slag in you in just a minute, and I have uh, 39 gold bars. 39 gold bars. We are rich. We are a millionaire. We're going to have all the money in the world. After we dig out an awful lot of gold ore. Uh, an awful, awful lot of gold ore, and we're now at the point where I can... Actually, we can we can start doing harvesting. Yeah, massive harvesting. Uh, we're at the point where we're going to cut at that angle to here, and the bottom at least can just cut at that angle pretty much forever. Uh, and here we will cut at ground level. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the Scrooge Mc JD Tower is operational, and we have things to dig, an awful lot of things to dig. Also, means we're going to have an awful lot of gold bars. Hopefully, this is going to produce 18 per minute, which is not a lot, honestly. Uh, you are backed up on not having enough gold. That's what you backed up on. Not having enough gold. Uh, we're going to prioritize you for gold, uh, you for rock, you for rock, you for dirt, and that should rock, dirt, empty, uh, empty boy can do gold as well. Gold, gold, gold. Yep, empty boy can do gold as well. That should keep them sort of digging all over the place and having a general mix of resources come through. But I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to work out what is wrong with you. You cannot get water from that tank. That's what's wrong with you. Uh, all right. I'm going to leave this episode here. We have gold smelting up and running, which is good. Uh, we also have research has one tier left to go. Uh, research is important because when it finishes, I can get back 160-ish workers, which then frees up the working out. Also means that we won't go over uh, the precious poop limit. Precious poop limit at 160 because that's 156.3. That's very close. Very, very, very close. And yeah, our food problem for chickens are, well, I would call it solved. I would call it thoroughly solved. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do it. If you enjoyed, I will see you in the next episode with, um, mm, no idea. No idea. No idea. Uh, not gold spilty. That's done. Uh, nuclear reactor? I don't know. We'll have to make up my mind in the next episode. Either way, call you here. As always, thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.